Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance, and this resistance video is sponsored by contribution from John, and here is his story. Hi, Ollie. I was just wondering if you could talk a little on the damage, if any, that baby boomers did to the mainstream churches. I noticed the baby boomers are not as religious as Gen X or Ys, but I suspect they do not take the religion they claim to serve as serious. Tolerance is not in the Bible, but is promoted by the mainstream churches today. Thank you, John. <clears throat> well, as, as, as anybody who's followed my channel probably knows, I'm not, I'm not a big believer in any organized religions. Like, I just think they're all means of narcissistic control, really. You know, <clears throat> that being said, it doesn't mean I don't believe in God. I'm not spiritual. I mean, that I'm not spiritual because I definitely am. <clears throat> I just don't think you need to go to a magic house and give your money and listen to some some flawed guy, some flawed hypocrite who's, in, in my case, you know, probably covering for global pedophilia within an organization. I don't believe, you know, that's valid. However, what I think you're talking about is <clears throat> how, you know, the main, the churches, like I guess the, the Catholic churches are dying in this country, are absolutely dying. Their attendance is dwindling. Nobody takes them seriously anymore. <clears throat> and that does have a lot to do with the baby boomer generation. Not because I think it was they were directly attacking the churches, and in, in, in some cases they were, in many cases they were. But again, it, it just it's just their overall debauchery that caused because what because what religion is? It's just a guide to morality. It's a guide to how to live your life peacefully, fairly, morally respectfully respectful of others the baby and again i have to say this not every baby boomer most of you the 60s the baby boomers it was all about their debauchery it was all about in your face debauchery you know the pornography the sex the drugs the free love the nudity the die the you know the real push of Satanism and these alternate, these alternate religions, just to, just to get in your face, just to be the debaucherous generation that they are or were, still are. So of course their tolerance, their, their, their actions are going to move towards a, now a tolerance movement within the church. Because when they're talking tolerance, when the baby boomers talking tolerance, they're talking about tolerate my debauchery. Tolerate my sloth, my drug use, my selfishness, my narcissism. I don't know about Gen X or Gen Y being more religious. I think they're more spiritual, you know, because we had to deal with the hypocrisy being raised by the hypocrisy that is the baby boomer generation. And that's not to say that the Catholic Church isn't completely fucked up in the first place. I mean, the Catholic Church has been fucked up long, long before the baby boomers came around. The baby boomers were the generation that was actually able to take it, incorporate it, and then turn it around and use it, use it for themselves. Because remember, the baby boomers turned themselves into gods a lot of times they didn't need church because they knew god and they had a relationship with god and what they said is god when they're telling you it might as well be the word of god 
The damage the baby boomers did to the churches is the same damage they've done to society at large. Their sloth, their debauchery, their drug use, their selfishness, their outright theft of the economy, theft of wealth, hoarding of it, refusing to share. That's all that all goes against that all goes against tenets of the, the tenets of Christianity, the Bible. I don't know what religion allows you to do any of that. I've said this a hundred times. I have no problem with the Bible. I have no problem with Jesus. I have no problem with the Ten Commandments. If you could look at the Ten Commandments and have a problem with it, maybe, you know, the, the one honor no God other than me. But I think what that's about is morality. You have one sense of morality, one source of morality. It's not negotiable. That's not the baby. The baby boomer has muddied it all up and now you got this word fucking tolerance. Tolerance in the church. You know what religion doesn't preach tolerance at all? Islam. Which is why Islam does have a, a real chance of taking over. Because when all the tolerance and all the bullying and all the capitulation and the debauchery and the lying and the hypocrisy becomes too much for the average moral person to handle, here comes this religion that stick, has been sticking to its guns for 5,000 years. that doesn't preach tolerance. Now, I don't agree with it. I don't agree a lot with what Islam does. Throwing gays off roofs, killing homosexuals, all the things, beating women in the street. A woman is less than a man in, mo in, in most sects of Islam. But what'll happen is people will just get sick of it. Sick of the debauchery. Sick of it all. And they will turn to something, even something so brutal that they know so brutal, just to make it end. That'll be the end result. And I'm telling you, half of these baby, a lot of these baby boomers, and a lot of these, because you all know, my belief, the end result of feminism is Islam, is radical Islam, is women in burqas. Because I think if you ask the average baby boomer dried up feminism what they would like to do to these pretty bitches, the one, they put on a burqa just so the, the, the one they don't have, they don't want to compete against would have to wear it as well. Now you're already taking, like especially with the Catholic Church, you're already taking a narcissistic, sociopathic, abusive organization, global organization, and you are infusing a gener and infuse a generation of self-centered, debaucherous sociopaths. Bad combination. Those sociopaths are going to take that organization, twist it around, and use it, and make it make it stronger actually make it stronger at the same time making you think it's weaker by pushing this tolerance thing tolerance 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 they even got the freaking pope talking tolerance and abortion and crazy crazy stuff baby boomers did that not not through a direct attack on the church well sometimes it was but through their but through their long play of debauchery starting in the 60s. And this is where you and this is where you end up, right? This is where you end up. <clears throat> I tell everybody on the right, you know, <clears throat> and I used to have this argument with a friend of mine about 15, 20 years ago about the Catholic Church. I, I would tell him, 
save abortion, other than abortion, <clears throat> the Catholic Church is a radical left-wing organization. Still is. The only thing abortion was about was creating more Catholics and more donations and more money. That's the only reason why they cared about it. Now they don't have to. Now they're on this tolerance kick with this new pope. Tolerate this, tolerate that, tolerate this, tolerate that. Tolerate the baby boomer. Tolerate the debauchery. Tolerate the sloth. Tolerate the selfishness. Tolerate, tolerate, tolerate. There's a reason why tolerance isn't in the Bible. Acceptance is. Love is. But tolerating slow. There's a reason why you have a Ten Commandments. It doesn't say tolerate the Ten, you know, breaking of the Ten Commandments. It doesn't say tolerate. Religion is supposed to be about making you better, not tolerating the sloth. That's what the baby boomers have done to religion. So. I hope I hope that uh, I hope that answers your question, John. Um, thank you so much for your contribution and your question. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to sponsor a video like this with someone who needs help but can't afford it, have a private video made, or just make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you. Without you guys, all this goes away. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been The Narcissistic Resistance. Take care.